Have it was announced yesterday that Ethan Pinnock's joined Barnsley. Just how pleased are you for him? Yeah, very pleased. Um, really delighted for the boy. He's uh, come a long way. In, there's not not the traditional route into professional football, but um, it's a route that I think uh, should be taken up a lot more from from players and, and and even clubs in professional football. Should think about maybe letting boys play non-league football uh, to serve their apprenticeship because it's real. It's, it's you know the battles and. The, it's, it's, a rea it's a reality and I think Ethan's come through that over a few years now. Um, he's done very well for his green, the full-time training, he's probably taken to uh, really well and then he's jumped again and to be honest with you, it doesn't really surprise us. Uh, he's had a really good attitude, we never had a one crossword with the boy in um, six, seven years. Um, always, you know, willing to do what he had to do to progress and, um, and on top of that he's got a good ability. It's not bad is it, jumping up five divisions in just one year? <laughs> yeah, I think I think I don't know if many people realise, but I think there isn't a lot in it. You know, there's some really good players at this level of football and and, and the league above, and there isn't a lot in it. Sometimes it might be that your age, you, you, you come good too late in, in terms of uh, going a bit higher. But there isn't a lot in it, I don't think. And I think it's very uh, it's very uh, realistic that you can jump um, those sort of leagues. Uh, it's just opportunity. Um, scouting networks and stuff like that but yeah um, delighted for him and I, I think he would do really well and exposure in championship football at a fairly young age still as well it can only bode well for potential premier league move as well <laughs> um i wanna, don't want to put too much on him don't want to put too much pressure i think if he goes and settles down in and at barnsley which is a very good level of football in the championship he would be delighted um and we would be for him as well but um he's a good athlete um and nowadays if you are a good athlete he gives yourself a chance he can handle the ball um, he's aggressive enough, so he has the attributes to play higher. But right now, I think his his challenge uh, personally is to to try and make an impact at Barnsley. Um, he has, he's going to be around some good players and management team, etc. And he just needs to find his feet there, and then see what happens from there. And you've alluded to it as well his maturity beyond his years and choosing Forest Green when he could have maybe moved into the Football League last year, choosing a year extra in, in non-league before making that step up. Exactly. Um, I think a lot of that is owing to his family as well. His family have been by his side over the years with us, from the academy into the first team. Um, and they've, they've trusted <coughs> what our advice has been to him. He had opportunities to go into professional clubs on trial, and we didn't think that was good for him. I thought that would probably be underselling him a little bit as a, as a talent. Um, and, and Forest Green came up and everyone knew that Forest Green is a sort of sleeping giant, really. Um, and they played good football with the manager there. And we just felt that it would be a, a seamless um, sort of um, transition for him to go in there full time. And to be honest with you, that was good for us as a club as well because what's happened is something that we thought might happen. Um, playing in a big club, them doing well, and him sort of having a, a stage to show everyone how good he could be.